Some local students are taking a giant leap for the University of Georgia. A University of Georgia student-designed satellite will be launched into space tonight. UGA is teaming up with NASA and the Air Force to create two satellites. The project was dreamt up in 2016 by three students who just wanted to make what they called a glorified Sputnik. For the first time in history, the University of Georgia is going into outer space. Let's send something to space because how hard could it be? Five, four. Launch team on countdown one, abort, abort. There's LC on countdown one. And as you heard, we have an abort, no launch tonight. I was actually right at the launch site when they aborted it. It's like a bad vibe in the air. <laughs> for a little while and then when everybody had to leave after the two minute I just kind of looked back across that empty field at the rocket and was like that better happen tomorrow <laughs> I just wanted it to go up but you got to be careful with aerospace you know it will let you down sometimes uh sometimes trouble hits and you got to debug it I mean that's part of the process when we first started the small satellite research lab it was in a dusty closet and we wrote two grants with the faculty to do something about that and try to make satellites. We knew nothing about it at all. And, you know, within two years, we were already competitive with schools like MIT and UC Boulder. We actually won the University Nanosat program for the Mochi satellite with that. And we were funded by NASA to launch the Spock satellite. So we went from a bunch of people who didn't know anything but thought space was really cool to a bunch of people who still think space is really cool. And now we know a little bit <laughs> about it. The kinds of people that we have in the lab, we have just about every major that you could imagine. We have graphic design, we have advertising, we have a lot of computer science, we have a lot of electrical engineering. The, the really cool thing about space is it kind of is a mashup. All these individuals, all these focuses can come together in one place just to push what you know human knowledge and human achievement can, can do. The amount of like Chick-fil-A french fries we ate was ridiculous. People slept in the lab. Some people slept in the parking lot in their cars just to get it to work. It's, it's just incredible, just the amount of work that people have put into this to make it happen. Um, especially considering, you know, we really did start with nothing. And so we all had this mindset that we have nothing and we wanted to make something. Five, four, three, two, one. We have engine ignition. Engine start and liftoff. The SS Kalpna Chavla takes flight, sights set on the International Space Station. When the rocket finally made it past Max Q, it felt like we were finally getting to a point where we were going to be operating satellites for many, many years to come. The best part of the whole launch experience for me was seeing everybody that I started the lab with, seeing where everybody went. You know, you got people working at like NASA and all these big aerospace companies, it's great. Nobody taught UGA how to make a satellite. We taught ourselves how to do it. Now I hope that UGA just keeps at it because we can, and it shows that we can. Five, four, three, two, one, deploy.